This little bone zone is ready for final preparation to be added to the koi garden. This video is the third in a series on bonsai trees on the River Life YouTube channel. Check out the card above for the previous videos. You're invited to subscribe to the River Life YouTube channel. You can enjoy more koi and bonsai video content. Step one of placing this bonsai in the koi garden is to clean up the cut wounds made by removing branches. I've found the best tool for this step to be the concave cutter. In step two, we'll seal the wounds with cut paste. This protects the tree and allows for healing. As you may recall from previous videos, bonsai technique is often a lather, rinse, repeat process as we learn basic technique. This step allows an opportunity to examine the tree one last time for any final manicuring before being placed in the garden. Step three is to place the new bone zone in a shaded area to allow it to rest and heal for at least a period of two weeks. Did you happen to notice our new friend in the garden? More on him later. Step four is very important. Place your new bonsai on a sturdy stand. Stands in the bonsai garden represent strength and we don't want to interrupt our Zen feeling 
with a rickety stand of questionable integrity. In step five, we photograph our newly placed bonsai in the Koi Garden. This is good for comparison and posterity. Now let's have a look around the Koi Garden and enjoy some bonsai photographs and of course, the Koi. <laughs> 